guys, it's Sophia the Shadow Hunter. This is February February 11th of 2019. It is Monday. I hope you guys are staying warm and safe out there. It's been cold and rainy here in Texas. And on Saturday, I went with my mom and my dad. We drove to San Antonio and Laredo for my dad's work. And we drove back. And we didn't get back till like about 12 almost 12 30 Sunday morning and then I had church and sold and we went shopping and then last night I went to bed at 11 and I woke up about 8 o'clock so I'm just trying to get these videos filmed and out of the way um I could go with him more on the road which I have sometimes but I try to get so much filming done now that I have the time and I've gone into it so much and I hate to mess up my schedule and I know the past couple weeks I've been kind of on and off videos like that. I apologize. But today I wanted to talk about more about my diabetic journey. This was supposed to be a diabetic vlog. I ended up talking about everything and less about my health probably just because I try so hard to control it and nothing I do seems to work very well. And um, my family is doing the carnivore diet, and I'm not really following it. I'm eating a lot of meat, which I always eat a lot of meat. And I just haven't stuck to it very faithfully. But I'm going to start doing a strict low-carb again. Because when I did low-carb, um, well, when I did low-carb a couple years ago, I lost about 20 pounds, and my numbers were better, and I was doing better, and... The past six to seven months have been really hard for me not being able to start school, getting my job, being stuck at home a lot. You know, I've been, I've been um, staying busy and I've been a little bit like sad and a little bit depressed, not like terribly depressed, you know, just sad by the things that are around us and things not working out, you know, but my, even though life is hard and it's difficult, at the end of the day, what happens to me on this earth isn't as important as knowing that my Savior died for me and that He loves me and He knows what's best for me and even though it's not a time that I want to, that it will be okay. So, um, back to the diet. Um, for a while, I ate really, really healthy, low carb, very little sugar, and since the past two years, I worked more and I had more money. I have a huge sweet tooth, and growing up in my family trying to eat healthy, we did not have sugar a lot in the house, and so when I would want to, I would buy myself sweets, and I would indulge in it too much. And I would not overeat, but it became recycled, that I would buy something here and there, you know. And I would buy stuff on sale in bulk because it's cheaper and then I have it and I'd have to eat it. And so they really want me to do the carnivore. And I've seen some good results. But I've had decent results low carb. And I think that low carb will work because other diabetics have been able to have better control with it. I think my problem is that when I ate low carb and then when I start eating carbs, I would forget to take insulin. Because when you eat low carb, super low carb, you hardly have to take any insulin but, but your basil. And so when I was on a pump, I was constantly getting insulin. And I've been off the pump now for, well, it'll be a year. It'll be a year in May. So, um, but since I went back to doing low carb and we've done different types of um, organic healthy eating that has more carbs and less carbs, it's been kind of a roller coaster between getting used to the different types of eating and being on a pump and not being on a pump. And I was I really was thinking about wanting to get back on the pump, which I might still do that if I can't get good enough control on shots. For a while I thought I had better control on the shots, but it's still just been up and down, you know. I go about a good number and wake up, you know, it's like three hundred. And it's that's just not fun in this roller coaster and it needs to be helped. So back to the carnivore. There has been people who got their A1C down to a 5.5. And I've been in diabetes since I before I turned 5 years old. And I'm going to be 24 this year. So, if I was 25, that would be 20 years. For almost 19 years, I've been living with this. I've been being told. And diabetics have been told. Let me know if you guys have been told something different. That A1C is okay if it's a 7 or a 6. But really, it needs to be a 5.5. And every time it's been higher because of, um through puberty and hormones and stress 
and not being able to eat healthy when my family had a hard time getting healthy food. Um, my numbers were terrible, and I would try to eat, you know, healthy, and I wouldn't overeat, and my, my, and my A1C was always high, you know. I got it down to, like, sevens a couple years ago, and I was in a stress level class, so I wanted to go back to that, and maybe I can get, you know, down to closer to a six or a five, because it's causing irreparable damage. And thankfully, by the Lord's blessing and mercy, I don't think I was, my body has had so much bad effects by the high blood sugars, but it is causing damage, and so I really need to figure out something that works for me. And I think if I, when, when it comes to carb counting, at times I've been slacking, but it's also not that I've been sl slacking. It is so hard to know the amount of insulin you need for certain carbohydrates. And for things when you go to restaurants, or if you go to a potluck, or to your friend's house, you don't know how much protein, carbs, or fat in it, and so you just chase it with more insulin. If you are getting too much insulin, it's going to cause highs and lows. Now, I've had very few lows in the past year or so, the past two years. Um, all, when I was working, and I would go actually eating, I would go low, but that's because I had the higher bagel, and I was eating, um, most of my meals were healthier and low carb, so my basil was lower, and so going out without eating it caused it to drop. So that's also something that I'm going to have to think about when I start going to school and working if I do the carnivore, which I really want to stick just to low carb, um, like at least low carb is 30 or below a day. So I think I want to count out 30 carbohydrates to have a day and lower my insulin and I want to start exercising again because I miss exercising. So something that I've been looking at, if you guys are um, carnivore or low carb, what type of insulin you guys use? Because I've been looking it up and I can't find anything about it. So right now I'm using Lantus and Fiesta is a fast acting insulin. And so when I do this, um, so I'm taking about 50 of Lantus. And if I'm how high, in, which I've been pretty high lately, so I'm taking a lot of Lantus. And when I get low carb, I cut my insulin to 50 from like close to 100 or over 100. Um, which the basal was only like 50, but the base before was probably closer to 100, so I did cut that in half. But I would just like to know if I do do that, like what type of insulin you guys are doing, how you are shaping it up. I'm supposed to see my doctor in April, and I like to have some good results to show him and some good numbers. So I'm just going to try to just to go call for a while, see how it does, if it helps my weight. My weight has stayed pretty stable since I started working. I put on about probably 15 pounds. But that's also because I've taken more insulin because I'm not as active and things like that. So, um, and the insulin makes you sensitive and hard to lose weight when you take less insulin. So I hope you guys liked this video. It was really discouraging to find that out. And I started crying because, you know, I'm always worried that, you know, I'm having, well, I'm not always worried. I know that this is a serious illness and a serious disease and I know that diet is a big part of it but even when I've eaten healthy in the past it hasn't seemed to help and so I ha I don't give up on eating healthy but I'm like because I would eat it was so devastating when I did like the super low carb and this was before I actually had good results from it I would not my numbers were terrible and I did not lose any weight and I'm telling you I had like almost no sugar at all I ate like nothing but fruit vegetables and meat and even those vegetables and the meat they affect your blood sugar later so when you get fast right before it's going to cut drop to go high so that's why doing a carnivore might work it might not work so I'm definitely going to do extremely low carb and see how that works because I really just don't want to take out all the other things in my diet that I enjoy that I know are good for you and hopefully um, if I just am very strict and regimental with it that I'll be able to find out the amount of insulin I need so it doesn't so it doesn't cause problems. And if this doesn't work, then maybe I'll try carnivore. I just really would rather not. I want to stick to low carb because I think that I've seen the good results from it. I think I can see it again if I stick with it. So I hope you guys are doing, staying healthy and well. I'll see you guys next time in our video. Goodbye.